resist a tree though. Oh man, that's why I can't resist a tree. <laughs> so g'day folks, welcome to another PTP fishing. And this one's a quick trip to North Pine Dam, so don't fish here very often. Um, I don't know why, but I, I definitely prefer Kwong Bar. Most probably because the edge bite exists at Kwong Bar, whereas here it's uh, a bit patchy to say the least. But anyway, so North Pine Dam, I've only got a couple of hours, so uh, it's a very quick trip. No uh, real expectations, but we have had a week of uh, sort of rain and overcast, and this is the first sort of really hot, humid afternoon we've had. So uh, I figured it was a good opportunity to come here and see if this fires up these fish. So uh, let's see what happens. Welcome to North Pine Dam and another PTP fishing. There's a fish. Oh, it's a tote. Far out. Oh, man. Don't go that way, kayak. <laughs> what is it with me and tigers at the moment? Wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, please stay on. Don't get wrapped up. Come to this net nice and quietly. Oh. Come on. Into the net. Into the net. <laughs> oh. Seen this smile a little bit lately. Wow. Saratoga. This is unbelievable. Express. That is just the coolest thing in the world. First bite at North Pine Dam, Saratoga. Not a bad one either, so uh, might do what I did at Kwong Bar, just pop over to the edge here and then I'll show you this fish a little bit better. How amazing is that fish? I just can't get over the fact that I, I've, this is one of my favourite fish to catch. I've managed to get one at Kwong Bar. Last trip, our one at North Pine. First fish each trip, there's that spinnerbait again. So uh, thank you to Ray for getting me that skirt as quickly as you did. Obviously the togas love it, so uh, gonna measure him, put a tag in him, and uh, we'll let him go. But yeah, one last look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful colors, look at those spots. They are just stunning fish. Anyway, quick tag and we'll let him go. There's that fish, 585, it's wading out here to the clearer water, pop him in. There you go, he's happy, off he goes. I have to say, that was a little unexpected. Very pleasant unexpected. No, nah, wow. Obviously it's that time of the year where the togas are around. That's just gold. So I've had a few people ask me what I look for when I'm looking at an edge. This is a really good example of, of what I think is a good looking edge. Um, you've got structure in this case, uh, you know, scattered timber. You know, it doesn't have to be lay downs, it just needs to be some sort of structure that might give bait fish a bit of protection or the predators somewhere to sit underneath and hide, whatever it may be. And then a little bit of depth is important, so. 
I think 10 footers minimum uh, this time of the year so we're talking you know early mid March 15 foot's most probably better what you're really looking for is just a little bit of depth a little bit of structure so once you've found one of those areas the key is just to fish the edge of it the beauty of a spinnerbait you can just search the edge and sort of find what's underneath the water just by feel but if you find these areas fish along the edge of them work them thoroughly I'm sure that'll catch a few fish so when I decided to come to North Pine I came with a slightly different plan of attack in that I know that you get big schools of fish here not that I was going to change the fact that I was always coming to the edges, but uh, sometimes when you come across a school of fish, you just want to be able to fish it. So I've got my SFT Australia Fisher Swift. At the moment I've got what I'm assuming is bass underneath me. What I'm going to do is just wobble this down in front of their noses and see if they'll eat it. I'm not going to do it for long, but long enough to know that uh, if they're going to eat it, they'll eat it. If they want to latch onto it, awesome. If they don't, you just move on. Just do a quick swing around. So I know from uh, throwing the spinnerbait through there that that tree sticks out a little bit beyond that but if my sounder wasn't telling lies ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> there was fish there <laughs> and that's exactly what I meant by the Fisher Swift is it has that you know that little wobbling Oy! A little action that it has I just feel that in situations like this one ooh, ooh, this fish didn't even know he was hooked <laughs> but uh, you know something that's just wobbling down in front of their face these bass aren't going to be able to resist it and that one definitely couldn't yes I love it when a plan comes together. So there's that fish. So that's the, the Fisher Swift, the smaller one. Uh, sinking stick bait from SFT Australia. It's a nice fish. I don't tag any of the bass in North Pine, but uh, I reckon he'd go pretty close to 40. So that little wobbling action that that Fisher Swift has was the undoing of this guy. Perfect hook up in the corner of the mouth. Get the hook out of him, give him a quick measure, and we'll let him go. So there you go, one last look at that fish. The eyeometer was spot on. 40 centimetres tip, 38 fork. Away he goes. I think we we'll might go back and give that another try. So if you want to know a little bit more about these SFT lures, I did a really good video at Lake Kwongba when I was testing them for the magazine explaining the various versions of them that there are um, and what they do but the one I'm using the Fisher Swift I think it's the the 70 just has that little shimmy action so when you've got fish sort of stacked up and sitting mid-water what it does is as it drops down between them it does this in front of them so uh, obviously that fish before couldn't resist it as it was dropping down I've actually had one more touch on it since that cast again I'm not going to do this for hours this is not my favorite form of fishing but it would be silly of me not to give it a try and that's exactly why I bought this rod with me anyway and there we go there's another one <laughs> so you would have heard it the, uh, the GoPro turned off So 
So we're GoProless for this fish. Oh, yeah, that's not the fish that I wanted to catch. That's a catfish. I won't show you this one. One would hope that all these fish that I'm seeing on the screen aren't catfish. In fact, we know they're not because I caught a bass. Anyway, I'll get rid of this one and I'll see you shortly. So we'll give this one more try and then we'll keep going along the edges. Perfect cast. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel like a bass, but it's something. <laughs> so what has the fish of swift caught this time? Whatever it is, it's angry. Doesn't feel like a bass, or if it is a bass, I've hooked him in the top of the head or something. Could well be another caddy. No, he's not enjoying being hooked. Yep, another catfish. So. What that says to me, a lot of these fish that I'm seeing on the sounder here are these guys. And I don't particularly want to catch these guys. So uh, that'll be the last cast here. If this guy calms down, we'll uh, sidle him up to the boat, get those hooks out of him. And move on. Can't resist a tree though. Oh man, that's why I can't resist a tree. <laughs> He's got me wrapped on the tree. Oh, He's come off, has he? Oh no, another catfish. What's the go with the catfish today? Well, I can honestly say that's a first. I have never ever caught a catfish on a spinnerbait before. <laughs> Come here buddy, I want, I want my spinnerbait back. <sighs> there you go. Session spinnerbaits catch everything. So note to self, do not put a catfish into your net in the kayak. Their spines go through the net. That makes life very, very difficult. suggest that, that is a dirty stinking catfish again. Is he not boy fighting like a bass? Or is he? Oh golden perch. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh. I haven't got that on the GoPro. Well I'll be Oh. Wow, that's cool. So as silly as it sounds, the trifecta at North Pine Dam. Toga, bass, golden perch, catfish, yeah. Maybe it's three and a half. Anyway, I'll pop another battery in 
and I'll show you this fish. That's gold. It is actually golden perch. So one last look at that fish. 42 centimetres completes the trifecta. Pop him over here. Oh, he was definitely ready to go. I think that's a great way to finish this edition of PTP fishing from North Pine Dam. Couldn't be happier. The trifecta achieved. Saratoga, a golden perch and Australian bass all in the same session. So the lures I got them on um, that obsession cinnabate, the single willow uh, with the uh, rainbow trout skirt. Got the toga right at the start. And then of course the, the Fisher Swift, which I'll put a picture of as I'm talking here now. Uh, got me the bass and the golden perch. Been trying to do that for a very, very long time. So I didn't think North Pine Dam would be the place that I'd do that but couldn't be happier. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you have. Leave comments, do all of those wonderful things. Love uh, answering the questions people have and doing all that sort of stuff. Anyway, from what is look like, it's going to be a very windy North Pine Dam shortly. We'll see you next time from PTP Fishing. See ya. Don't forget to like and subscribe.